Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to get through the Spark Mandro stage in Mega Man X. So this stage is, it isn't super hard, but it's not super easy either. There is a sub tank in the stage, but I'm not going to show you guys how to get it because I don't have Boomerang Cutter yet, and you need Boomerang Cutter to get it. I'll make a separate video about that once I get Boomerang Cutter. So for the first part, just destroy these guys. It's sort of cool how it turns light and dark, but then again, it's kind of annoying. I've always hated those things that like, Streak across the sky. Yeah, those things. But once you learn their patterns, they're not that hard. <laughs> Woo! Do not fall down that pit. That would be bad. Oh, and up here is a little mini boss fight against this, like, Dude, that should be in the launch off of this stage. But Flame Wave works really well on him, so just torch him. Come on, come on. Ah. Even with the dash boots, it's kind of hard to get out of the stuff you throw them. Okay, so not too hard if you have flame wave. Just continue. Okay, I'm going to get a storm tornado for this part. And just keep dashing through. The storm tornado works really well on those trail like this. But be sure not to use your shotgun ice because it's really helpful in the boss fight. Storm Tornado is kind of OP. Oh jeez, I hate this part because I feel like I'm going to fall down to the deep, dark pit of doom. Okay, come on dude, just die for me. Okay, so I'm going to use one of my sub tanks. And right here is the Spark Mandrill boss fight. But be sure to have shotgun eyes because this fight is really, really hard without it. I mean, it can be beaten without it, but it pays to have. So just keep hitting him with it and he'll soon be defeated. And then, just like that, he's defeated. And, you know, like I said at the beginning, a uh, medium stage in terms of difficulty. But it's always one that I do near the beginning of this game. Well, thanks for watching.